the shutdown of two major Bay Area bridges during rush hour is raising questions over how authorities can respond to those suffering from a mental health crisis. Crown Force has Igmed Yoon has more. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, it's a lady. Oh, Whoa! A person experiencing an apparent mental health crisis held up evening traffic for several hours Tuesday. They were able to tell us that this person had now actually stopped in lanes, had exited her vehicle, and was holding a knife. CHP spokesperson Andrew Barclay says this was a dangerous situation. Definitely. It happened just after 4.30 p.m. Tuesday on eastbound I-80 near the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza. 911 reports started coming in about the same woman, but this time she was naked and firing a gun. For whatever reason, this woman had exited her vehicle with this firearm. She began shooting rounds into the air. As it looks like, you know, probably people caught in this backup, not knowing what was happening just up ahead, thinking maybe it was a crash, trying to go around. Um, as they're now driving past her, she is firing rounds left and right. He says CHP officers made contact with the woman and within 13 minutes de-escalated the tense situation before she could hurt herself or anyone else on the freeway. We were able to get to her. Fortunately, she listened to us when we told her to, to drop the gun. Um, and we were able to, to take her into custody. Uh, I, I think clearly we were able to ascertain pretty quickly that this individual was experiencing some form of a mental health crisis. The first rule is just do whatever you have to do to try and keep people from getting hurt. And whatever they did, they did it. And I congratulate them for it. Dr. David Spiegel is professor of psychiatry and behavioral science at Stanford School of Medicine. He says the best thing in general with someone who is mentally ill and threatening is to acknowledge it. He explains. Yeah, don't pretend there's nothing wrong. Say, look, we're really worried about you. We're worried about people around you. We want to help you. Um, and uh, what can we do to just de-escalate the situation? But you tend to de-escalate it by acknowledging right up front that this is a tough situation and we have to do something to keep everybody safe. Officials here at the California Highway Patrol say the woman will be evaluated by mental health experts before any potential charges are filed. It took about two hours for all lanes to reopen from the time the CHP received that first 911 call. They're asking for anyone with information to give them a call. Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.